M0RZF with a look at my new HF amplifier prototype. Uh, this is not actually the completed product. Uh, it's going to be, um, I'm going to get rid of these out at little LEDs and have an LCD display and a lot of other enhancements as well for this board. This is just a halfway house but it works very very well as it stands and uh, there are a few spare boards left of these as well. So let's uh, switch it on. As I switch it on you'll see these LEDs scan across just as a little pattern to start up with. There it goes. So that's on and yeah it went across. Now there's a uh, an LED there that flashes. That's to do with the temperature cal calibration of it. And if I go to transmit, you'll notice this is connected up to the, the KX3 uh, radio and I've uh, got the mic here. Uh, if I press the transmit button, the LED flash up and then release. And now that LED flash has now gone off. What that's done is it's written the temperature uh, reading into the calibration memory inside the microcontroller right there. Uh, the micro has got its own temperature um, measurement etc and also it's got two little diodes that sit underneath there and uh, they also measure the temperature it does a little calculation if the if the thing overheats uh, then it knows about it it does something about it right then so we've done that and uh, what we'll do now is we'll go into transmit so you hear the relay's gone click there if I talk into the microphone it's gone click again and uh, now we're on, on 15 meters there uh, the reason that's gone click twice is because uh, these uh, on the right hand side of there you see all the coils they're the low pass filters and that's uh, automatically selected the low pass filter and as I talk uh, this is M0RZF uh, live on the air <laughs> it's connected up to an antenna and you'll see those um, LEDs there will flash uh, with the one on the left is red and you'll note that the four LEDs on the on the left hand side there actually don't read anything because the FWR is very low on, on this antenna so I'll let go of the mic and we'll select a different band that one there and as I press the mic and then start to talk you'll hear it click twice on the relays M0RZF, M0RZF yeah that's because it's selected one of these uh, six bands automatically uh, also it's got a an input there to uh, that one there these ones if you prefer to select the bands uh, manually then it will do that as well uh, but one last thing to say about this the software side is there's a switch just there uh, and that switch what it does is it, it calibrates the maximum power uh, that the, the thing's got it measures its own output power there's a little SWR bridge just underneath that side there so uh, if I you see that's gone up to the red on that little LED 4 LED bar graph and that means it's uh, got a maximum power calibration if you press the button there that button there um, hold that down put the maximum power you want to put in and when you release that button and release back to receive it writes the maximum power uh, on a per band basis onto the memory calibration memory stored inside the micro that's, um, that's just there okay quickly around the rest of the board uh, there's some nice relays there to select everything it's got all the low pass filters as I just said uh, these are the this is the output transform with these three ferroids uh, it's a slightly novel output transformer that I've used um, uh, <laughs> I won't exactly tell you what the three cores do but the third one is, is a bit of a trick to improve the effectiveness of the transformer um, there's the little bar graphs that's the input transformer over there it's actually a ready made re ready wound uh, ballon uh, off the shelf no winding required and that's just set up with the KX3 which activates through this position just there is the the PTT line which is a short circuit on transmit and the power supply comes off there uh, off to the power supply and uh, I've been programming it with a, 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 this little board which acts as a programmer it's a Texas MSP micro um, and apart from that that's it and just look forward to the next version when I get the uh, rest of the things on there the LCD and everything else um, so this is M0RZF uh, 73s guys